El Nino is expected to continue through the winter months too, so there are also high hopes for increased mountain snowpack after a good monsoon season. But you know, by before the rains, we're gonna suffer through some heat first. Oh, some intensity. Are you yeah. ready for it? I th uh, I have to be. <laughs> good answer, good answer, Anna. Well, whether you're ready or not, it's on the way. Take a live look outside in Angel Fire. Beautiful shot here. They've had a few passing showers and windy conditions in Angel Fire throughout the afternoon. And they've got the Abla Tamale Festival going on at the Centro Plaza tomorrow in Angel Fire. Sounds like a lot of fun. The weather looks like it will cooperate. The big story today, the hot temperatures, the dry conditions, the winds really whipping up out of the west and northwest, anywhere from 15 to 25 with high Gust. A few spot showers generally across the northern mountains in the far northeastern part of the state, but a lot of that not even reaching the ground. No barbecues this evening because we continue with that extreme fire danger from Albuquerque south into Roswell and Alamogordo and Silver City. Yeah, with that extreme fire danger, the winds and the dry conditions, the hot temperatures, you don't want to do any outdoor burning of any kind. The winds die down for tonight. They'll be back tomorrow, but not as strong. You can see they'll be out of a northwesterly direction across all parts of New Mexico, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour, some high higher gusts possible, but again, tomorrow the winds won't be as strong. 12-hour planner for this evening. Looking at windy conditions, if you're heading out to the Topes game, they've got a double header going on, so if you miss the first one, they've got another one that will kick off later on this evening. 78 degrees by 11 o'clock. you see by tomorrow morning, cool in the 60s here in the metro. The big story this weekend, the hot temperatures. Check out the heat on Sunday, 90s and triple digits. Likely the hottest day so far this year for many areas of the state, and I think that will get even hotter beyond that. So these are the things you need to remember. Don't leave the pets or kids in the car. Drink lots of water and apply SPF 30 or greater sunscreen. Take a lot of breaks. We do have changes, though, next week, and it could be a hint at some monsoon moisture working into New Mexico, a better shot at showers and storms, and maybe a little bit cooler temperatures, too. That would be nice. Not tomorrow, though. Heading down to the New Mexico State Barbecue Championship in Artesia 101 tomorrow. Barbecue sounds good, though. 104 in Carlsbad, 87 in Rodoso. Southwest New Mexico, a bit of a breeze, but it's not going to help too much. 92 in Silver City, 100 in Dimming. Slop on the sunscreen at the Butte tomorrow in the upper 90s to near 100 degrees. Farmington, Durango, Gallup and Grants after a cool night tonight. A toasty one tomorrow, 80s and 90s for highs with the breezes up during the afternoon. On the plaza in Santa Fe, topping out at 85 degrees. Red River looking good, 74 the high tomorrow. 78 in Chama, breezy to windy at times. And from Raton, Las Vegas, Edgewood, the East Mountains, Moriarty, and the Santa Rosa. After a cool night, it will be a warm to hot day tomorrow with breezes. Right here in the metro, we're looking at hot weather tomorrow. Bernalillo, Rio Rancho, Los Lunas, and Berlin. Temperatures in the 90s. And we'll dip to the 50s in the valley. 60s the heights tonight after a windy evening. Starry skies and cooler overnight. 74 cash shows a 95 tomorrow. And check out that 97 on Sunday, 99 on Monday. I couldn't put 100 on I just couldn't do it. It's going to be very close on Monday, but it's going to be hot. Breezes during the afternoon, and then that windy change, more humid conditions by Tuesday into Wednesday. Maybe some moisture, but the heat, oh, it's going to be mm -hmm. tough. Okay. Thanks, Byron. Yeah.